You guys loved my last video of a throwback with Katie Hopkins, you know, making a fool out of Adam Gainick on from the PBD podcast. Well, I enjoy reacting to Katie Hopkins so much that I found a montage and I haven't even watched this video yet. Haven't. So we're going to be live reacting to it together, but it's Katie Hopkins bitchiest moments. Let's get right into it. By the way, guys, subscribe because I post two new videos every single day. Like this video, comment, do it all, and let's get into it. Let's go Katie Hopkins, my bitch. Uh, Kim Kardashian, she of the large ass. Now, I don't really understand what the attraction is with Kim. Uh, she is one large bottom, and I don't really think being known as one large bottom is that great. I'd rather be known as the biggest bitch in Britain, frankly. You know, to call yourself plus size is simply a euphemism for being fat, and who wants to be fat? But I think... I don't like geographical location names, celebrity names, things like Apple, things like, you know, Tilly Fizz. I don't call your kid North. Do you know what my passion is? My passion is... Eating. <laughs> well, have you made girls cry? Uh, I've made men cry, John, so be, be afraid. There's plenty of places in the UK that other people will tell you, I can tell you, I would not well, walk me. through... Some tell community. us these vast swings of, of our country where we have lost control. And if you control. didn't talk so much, I might be able to, darling. Well, just... I invite your camera crews to come with me and see who tells me to cover up my hair, cover up my face. I mean, I can see that's, that might be an advantage. That's... I think if you have to pay these days for a 15 kilogram piece of luggage, why the hell aren't you paying for the 15 kilogram that you are draping round your arms, your waist and your ass? People have different different metabolisms, that's what I'm saying. Well, if your metabolism is really slow, yeah. then maybe you need to shove less in this end so that you don't get fat. Do you not uh. realise where you're going with this? this How is did actually, you get this big? This is actually to do with a hate crime. Okay. And you're, you're a bit to a hate it. crime. Absolutely. In, in and can we call the police? I'm and then more people. people. Would you like to bring the police in? Then the I should have home right there. So I think we should, would you like it brought to you? Because it's probably going to be hard to walk there. Just don't say I'm fat because, you know, it's just my metabolism. No, love. You're fat because you eat too much. Amen. Amen. I cannot stand, guys. It's like my biggest pet peeve is when these fat bitches are like, oh, I have big bones. Or I've literally had girls try to tell me that it's all genetics. And yes, genetics do play a part into it. But at the end of the day, girlfriend, don't keep stuffing your fat face. You won't gain weight. It's quite literally that simple. Just put in less. Okay? Capiche? Girls, bitches be acting like it's some um, unknown way. Like getting, being skinny, we have no idea how some people are skinny. Like just don't eat as much as you do. Calorie deficit, come on. You just want to have every excuse to keep stuffing your face. Gosh, being skinny feels so much more than being, I don't know, full of like disgusting food. Come on. Go get yourself a dairy milk. Okay. So you're finding me funny. This is, this is the message I'm getting. Peaches Geldof is to me what salt is to a wound. She is everything that's bitter and twisted in this world. AP attachment parenting is just one step away from CRAP crap parenting. I don't understand what this is. This is just an entirely inked arm, isn't it? It's just a blue arm. It, you said yeah. it tells a story. I don't see what a blue arm says about you. OK, it's hard to explain. So it's black ink that is uh, the start of a white ink geometric sleeve over it that uh -huh. Oh my gosh, I love it. Like, first of all, I'm a tattoo hater too, but it's just so funny how so many people like to claim that their tattoos have so much meaning. It's like, okay, it looks like crap. That's okay. You're, you're showing me that you look like crap. Cool. I don't care about your crap stories, okay? Run along, friend. Has a lot of meaning, but, but aesthetically... It, I think it just looks ugly. I mean, it's funny that we call our children names yeah. before we even have them, before you've even taken a look at your child, you'll give it a name. I think well, that's this a is you have too. an issue with people calling their children names that may mean beautiful or something. When well, they... you end up with a terribly ugly kid called Bella. It's quite strange. It's Katie, you've been a victim of online abuse as well. Do you think we need tougher laws? No, and I absolutely, you know, I push back on this term victim. I don't see myself as a victim at all. Look, Amen. Twitter's there for people that want to use it. If you don't like it, get off Twitter. It is only Yeah, seriously, I actually, Katie Hopkins, I don't know if it's going to be in this video, but she one time said I, she was debating someone and someone was like, oh, well, what if I'm offended by what you say? And she's like, that's not me. Like, you're the one choosing to be offended. That's not me. That's a you problem. Deal with it. And I... I just love it. I love the fully, like, full free speech absolutism. There's nothing to be held back. 
words only hurt as much as you allow them to. So I don't know. I just, I love her. And there's never, like, funny women don't exist, but she's damn close to it, right? Only vanity that makes people read the damn thing until their eyes fall out of their head. And Katie, you are extremely rude. We're the alternative in the mainstream society. You're you're totally prejudiced towards tattooed people. Why? What? Because I'm a plain skin? Good. No, that's what happens to us. People instantly make the judgment, that's though. because your like, face you is coloured. The sort of colour of a first-class stamp, my chicken The reason why... I've... I totally disagree with that. The only thing you can do to stand out in life is colour your whole face in. That just makes if, you a kid if, with a crayon If book. one of your... You're doing a documentary out here about putting weight on... Uh... Yeah, so I put on four stone to prove that skinny people aren't lucky to be skinny. They just move around a lot, and that fat people are, in fact, lazy. True. True. How could anyone disagree with that? Oh, wait, you're probably fat and trying to cope and give reasons for why you're a fat, disgusting whale. I hate fat people for making me do this. That so, by the way, um, Katie Hopkins gained, like, 50 pounds just to show that she could lose 50 pounds, too. So she literally documented the experience. It's iconic because she was so sick and tired of hearing that whales complain about, oh, my gosh, it's so hard to lose weight. So she literally put on the weight and then lost it all. Good for her. Seriously, what an icon. That's Work why, as experience. an employer, I have to be honest and say I would never employ the someone trouble is, yeah, The trouble is, we, like it would appear no. that... And if I can afford Olympic tickets, I can afford to pay for baby care. And if I'm going to the Olympics, I do not want to be sat next to a squawking child. And the list of things we can't say is now longer than the list of things we can. And I can't stand that. Feminists can go and do one. Kim has a daughter called North. I think that says everything, doesn't it? Especially when your career is going south. Big is not beautiful. Oh, you know, if you can't afford to pay for your own wedding, don't have one. If I want to bring you a toaster, True. even if you've got two already, I'm going to bring you a toaster. You know people have this opinion, which you admit. Yeah, I, do, I know And this. so why don't you think, well, you know, if I am going to compete, if I am going to get myself off benefits, yeah. which I really want mm. to, But you wouldn't ask I someone change? of a different... And just because I weigh more than a certain person, I'm not getting the job. And that should not but be allowed. But the answer to that sits with you. You have one speed setting, and that speed setting is slow, slow, slow. Someone put the wrong speed dial in when they created you, sweetie. And I don't like women that complain. <laughs> I don't like... Criado Perez, I don't like Stella Creasy for those reasons. You know, they're on Twitter, someone says something a bit nasty to them, they have a little cry and go to the police. But I am man enough to deal with this stuff and I enjoy the fact Twitter this is, is a there. Nonsense. Yes, it's blunt, but no, if you Katie, want polite, you go and dress in a dress Katie, and go to a tea party. Katie. Now, I'm not one for Lily Allen, really. Um, I quite liked her when she was singing and kind of interesting. And then she went off to tell us all about, you know, being a mother. And she was removing herself from the spotlight because she wanted to be a mother. And that largely involved, I think, gaining two stone and looking pretty hideous. So, but who's <laughs> looking at that? It's really easy for women to turn on other women. Men any women would have I a think, problem with I that. I think if proof of the sisterhood and its bitchiness were required, it's sitting right here in purple, isn't it? <laughs> and I think, for me, the sisterhood only extends as far as the kitchen door, and I think mm. you'd be a good example of that. I, I... Oh, my gosh. I mean, okay. I loved everything that I just heard her say, and I want to see what you guys, like, what your favorite moment of this montage was. Comment that down below. As always, I so love Katie Hopkins. Let me know if you want to see more Katie Hopkins reaction clips. Maybe one day we can interview her, our little fat shaming queen, because I love it. I love it very much. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Toodaloo and stop eating, you f***ers, okay?